Hi, it's me again with Corel All Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this picture, and you have to kind of figure out the math. I mean, he just put a ruler up there for reference, but it's a little past five and a little past 13 and a half, so I'm going to call it eight and a half. Before we um, do this, and you can see he didn't do it because it's 16. Um, I don't know how he, well, whatever he did, he just, he took the picture. You need to scale the picture down uh, to 13 and a half by whatever it is, but we're going to just scale this scan down. I'm guessing that's what it is, but we need to get it level to the playing score board. So we're going to put a guideline right there. We're going to move our rotation there, and we're going to grab this right here and rotate it to about there. Now what we need to do, and, and we don't know what, or I, this is for a nectivity scene. It was made out of cardboard. He's going to cut out of like eighth inch birch plywood. The outside is basically, well, we need to, with the ratio lock, we need to make this 8.5 to get it to size, to get it to scale, because no camera takes pictures at scale when you least in your port of, in port of men. So now we need to look at this thing and it's really rough. So we're going to left click, right click, and you can see the roughness. Uh, the laser is not going to be able to cut that out uh, worth a flip because it's going to look terrible. And because that's a rectangle, we can go to object and break the curve apart and set our nudge factor on, let's say 10, and we can nudge this out of the way. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle that is eight and a half by 5.668. So I'm going to go 8.5 and unlock my ratio. And then the other number was 5.668. And you'd want to measure that. So now we have a rectangle that's the same. We're going to make it red and then make sure it's a hairline because we're going to have to cut this out. And then we're going to go and place it on top of the other rectangle. And you can see that, you know, our measurements aren't exactly right, but you'd want to, you know, double check that. I'm a little bit long, and I think it's just because of the shape of the scan because I'm drawing perpendicular to the page. And then take that rectangle and just nudge it back over because of the fact that we nudged it, we can nudge it back. Now these two semicircles are, don't know how big they are. Uh, you'd be able to do a better job of measuring with the actual deal. But I'm going to go to right about there is 0.79. And I'm going to go to right about there, 0.79 if you go to the uh, and really it's probably a three quarter inch, but we'll go ahead and go seven, nine. So I'm going to make a, uh, well, I got really close. And I unlock my ratio. So I need to leave it unlocked and go 0.79. And then I'm going to lock my ratio back. And well, 0.79. I need to unlock it because I somehow I messed that up. Now I'm going to lock the ratio for the next time. Now I'm going to take this ellipse and I'm going to try to place it kind of where that other one is. Take the, we don't have to do the other one, just take a plus key and move it over and try to get them pretty even. And you would want them even. So we're going to hit T for top and then that way they're even. And then we're going to nudge them over. It was that easy to place those two exactly where they go take your virtual segment delete key and delete the top half and the bottom. And of course, later on, we're going to fill that in. Now, I have no clue what these other pieces are. If they're just, uh, these are probably for uh, putting the thing together. These are uh, no kind of, uh, you know, uh, support. So I'm just going to take this the smoothing tool and just smooth this guy out. You know, unless it's important, we want the laser to cut it out pretty nicely. Same thing on this. If it's just a uh, hold a look through or, you know, 
you need to check on it. Uh, make sure you're on it before you. And then there's a some garbage, I would call garbage, and we can just delete the garbage. Now the other hole, you know, you'd want it pretty nice. You know, it's got some backward stuff and that might be easier to just smooth out. You've got to really make sure you're on it and see the smoothing tool does a really good job. And let me turn my phone off. And the only holes besides the exterior holes, you know, the exterior of this, you know, so we're just trying to smooth this up a little bit. Are these, you know, parts that I think are going to be for building it? And if we measure uh, this with a parallel dimension tool, you know, we're at 0.14, so that would almost represent us uh, eighth inch wood, which is 1.25. Um, but you'd want to make a new slot for that and make it square. You know, if we had, we do have a picture, but it's, you know, I don't know if it needs to be rounded. Uh, this is really crude. It's actually cardboard. I've actually seen it before. So you could do, you know, what did I do with my box? What did I do with the rectangle? There we go. Somehow I moved the rectangle. So I would go in and, well, I backed up so far. And another way you could get rid of these nodes is just select them all and delete them. But I would make a rectangle, you know, and remeasure it and make it 0 0.125 and even round off the corners a little bit. You know, let's go ahead and make it red so we can see it. And that is probably a little bit, you know, I don't know, you're gonna have to match your other pieces up to it and see how it's kind of offset because uh, they're, you know, the slant of our items where everything now is gonna be perpendicular. But we're just gonna round off the corners a little bit, kind of like the other thing. And then and the one I'm doing it for, then I would nudge that out of the way and actually delete that, nudge this back, and then take this one and make a duplicate, control or hit the plus key, and have it snap to there, nudge it out of the way, grab that one. I have no clue what the hole is for, but you know, if there's a dowel somewhere in the uh, you know, part, uh, figure out what size dowel it is and put it, you know, on the spot, nudge it out of the way. It's about the only way to get rid of the old and then go back to the nudge part and nudge it back. Now, the only other thing I would do, and I went so far back, I brought that back, so I didn't clean up the inside. I would, because remember this is part of pieces. After this is all done, I would take the smart fill tool I'm going to fill it in with blue just so we can see it better. And then when you take this smart fill away, you can leave all the pieces and I can left click, right click and the one I'm doing it for, make sure it's a hairline. That should cut out. And then as long as your other pieces match up to that, so if you like, send me another, another piece. Uh, when you take pictures, just you know, make them as level as you can and, and you know, go ahead and put the, the inch marker on there so it's, you know, because I can't tell, you know, it's, you know if, if it was five inches, you know, if it's three and thir uh, eight and a half or whatever it is. But that's a good clean um, cut and a good start. And the only other thing I might do uh, for this, when I drew it out, I might take a little bit of corner off the corners just to give it a, a, an edge that's not so sharp. You know, you don't want an edge and that's easily, it would have been easier to do it when it was a rectangle, but now we can go to windows, dockers, corners, and we can take just a little bit off this corner. You know, just barely, barely, barely give it a little bit of a corner and because plywood is sharp and these things 
are going to be put back and forth together. And you don't have to go that much of a corner. You can go half that. Let's back up and make this 0 0.05. And grab those two corners, or grab that corner. You've got to grab the node. You know, I don't know what I did, but that looks bigger. Um, I must have been 0 0.01 anyway. Uh, well, let's see what point zero one looks like. Yeah, that's just a little bit of a corner. You know, that would just that would work and not even be seen, noticeable. But I think it, once you clean this up a little bit more, you'd be a lot happier. And then there's you know a lot of things you can do is you know measure off the side how close these are because you can always get them even. Um, you know, we've we've got a curve going on now because we smart filled it, we need to separate them. So you could grab that one, hold down the shift and grab that one and hit L and it'll, it'll line them up. I could have hit L or R and then at least these are lined up equally, you know, off the distance you, and you'd want to check your distance off another part. Anyway, I hope that's what he was asking and thank you for watching.